Well, John Linnell and John Flansburg, they might be giants. We've asked you here to play a game we're calling... You might be giants, but he really was a giant. The man born, Andre Rene Rusimov, who's famous throughout the world as Andre the Giant, actor and pro wrestler. We're going to ask you three questions about this legitimate giant. Get two right, you'll win our prize for one of our listeners. Carl's voice on their home answering machine. Carl, who are John and John playing for? Now they're playing for Merritt Diesig of Chicago. <laughs> and, and whenever we have two people playing the game, like yourselves, you are allowed to collaborate. We're hope, in fact, we hope we get to see into your creative process as you work through ah, the yes, answers. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Bitter fights. Yes. We, we couldn't have Lennon and McCartney on the show, so you'll have to do. <laughs> Here's your first question. In addition to being one of the tallest, if not the tallest, professional wrestler ever, Andre the Giant held one other record, at least according to popular legend. What is it? A, he could speak more languages fluently, eight, than any other professional wrestler ever. B, he holds the unofficial record for most beers drunk in a set period of time. Or C, he wore the largest athletic supporter ever made by the Bike Corporation. Ooh, wow. Mm. Mm. Well, he was, he was French, but he, I'm not sure he was a particularly well-educated man. I, I, the, somehow the the beer the beers uh, seems yeah the fun. beer seems a little little bit obvious right and then the uh, unlikely uh, jockstrap thing but that sounds like a kind of cheap joke that you throw in <laughs> but that's pro- but that's that might probably... be the double reverse psychology yeah. that you guys are working <laughs> that's true yeah I'm thinking double reverse psychology so what's your choice C Let's go with C. You're yeah. going to go with the largest athletic supporter, and your, your idea if I understood <laughs> well, that it, sounds, Suddenly that sounds like a terrible idea. Was that... <laughs> no, I'm trying to figure it out. The, it's the double reverse psychology is that it sounds like it's the sort of it cheap fake. joke we'd make up. Right, exactly. But because it sounds like we'd make it up, it's real. Because yes. we're trying to fool you into thinking that it's made up because it's really real. Right, yes. Unless that's yeah. just what you want us to think. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we could have made a cheap joke... Intending for you to think it was Ooh. disguised the cheap joke and real, but really it's just a cheap joke. Oh my gosh, am I, well, uh, am I a butterfly dreaming I'm a human? <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your choice then? We'll, we'll go with C. You're gonna go with C. We're, we're lost. No, you were right, it was a cheap joke. It was actually beers, is the oh. answer. Oh. According to one. Eyewitness account, Andre once drank 119 beers in six hours, which is a record. Uh, He then passed out on the floor, and nobody could move him until morning. (laughs) Still two more chances here. This is not all lost. Next question, Andre the Giant had a successful acting career, most notably in The Princess Bride. But what was his first screen role, his first screen role as an actor? Was it A, as Bigfoot in a special two-part episode of The Six Million Dollar Man, or B, as the world's biggest baby in a laugh-in episode... Or C, as Napoleon in a dream sequence in a French art film about Napoleon. <laughs> mm. I, think he, I think he's he was too young to be on Laugh-In, right? Yeah, he'd be too young to be on Laugh-In. Laugh-In is definitely no. Okay. The Bigfoot thing seems plausible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So sure, we'll go with Bigfoot, I think. You're going to go with Bigfoot and the $6 million man? Uh, yeah. Yes, yes you're sir. right. Very good. Oh, okay. Very good. He plays... A robot Sasquatch built by aliens. All right. Of course. His his bionic beer gut. Exactly. This is your last question, and it all comes down to this. If you get this right, you win. Andre may have been inspired uh, in his career by an early childhood encounter with greatness. Was it A, he studied classical mime in Paris with Marcel Marceau? (laughs) B, playwright Samuel Beckett gave him rides to school? Or C, his first job was being a bodyguard for an aging Mae West? Ooh, it's interesting. Oh, I think I'm I'm thinking C. Yeah, yeah. May West. Be, my... Because because May West probably worked in France a lot. Yes, it just seems completely that one plausible. sounds right. So you're going to go for the bodyguard for an aging May West? We're going with uh, that one. Yeah. You think that she would like a seven foot tall guy? Whatever it takes, Peter. All right. <laughs> no, I'm pleased to say it was Samuel Beckett. Actually, Whoa! Samuel Beckett drove him to school. Now the only. You can only imagine what those conversations were like. Uh, I should say, before people get upset, that the, the sole source for this story, which is widespread on the Internet, is the actor Carrie Elwes, who uh, in the DVD 
for the Princess Bride tells this story. He says, oh yeah, and Andre told me when he was a kid, Samuel Beckett used to drive him to school. I wonder what those conversations were like, said Carrie Elwes. Unconfirmed otherwise, but we don't want to mm. live in a world in which Samuel Beckett did not drive Andre <laughs> to school. Yes. So, there he, didn't, he, yeah, he didn't say a lot on the rides. <laughs> he didn't say a lot, no. Beat. <laughs> Stop, that's right. <laughs> Carl, how did John Linnell and John Flansburg do on our show? Well, John and John needed two correct answers to win Peter, but they had just one correct answer. Oh. And, and oh. oddly enough, Peter, when Samuel Beckett drives you to school, you never get there. It's yeah. true. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. All right, let's go. Start the car. <laughs> they stay. <laughs> Curtain. Beat. Why, why aren't you driving, Samuel? <laughs> <laughs> They Might Be Giants, new children's album is Here Comes Science. Their new children's book is Kids Go. They're out now and worth having even if you have no children. John Linnell and John Flansburg, thank you so much for joining us on Where They Don't Tell Thank you so much, guys. Thanks thank for you. being on the show. See that bulletproof dress hanging from the clothes.